No. Okay, item nine here. Segment LM represents one side of a regular octagon. What's the octagon mean again? Eight sided figure. That's one side of an eight sided figure. Based on the information in the graph, what is the perimeter of the octagon in units? How in the world? You're going to be able to do that. Pause, let you think. All right, go ahead. No, tell me what you did. Uh, I counted the distance. You counted the distance. How did you count the distance? Negative six to positive six. Add that up. Then I added the uh, six going up. I got 18. Then I just multiplied by eight. Okay. I 44. So you said that this distance from here to here is 12. Which that will be important for us. And he says this from here to here is six. Oh, I got an 18. It's actually five, uh, though. Yeah, it's five. You're, oh, it's five? Okay. Yeah, it'll be easier when you have your computer on your desk. But that does not mean this length is 17. You're on the right track, but what you either need to do is Pythagorean theorem or the distance formula. Which it's one like, would you prefer I use? Pythagorean theorem. Okay, this is a Pythagorean triple. So that's 25, and that's 144. This is the Pythagorean triple. But in case you did not realize it, uh, we'll do... What are we missing? A squared, B squared, or C squared? C squared. So we'll say 5 squared plus 12 squared equals C squared, the length of one edge of the octagon. What is 5 squared? 25. What is 12 squared? 24. Okay, keep thinking, keep thinking. So 25 plus 144? Uh... 169 is C squared. A Genesis, how'd you get 13? Because in the calculator, I forgot to sign 159 and it gave me 16. The opposite of a square is a square root. And with distance, it's always positive. So I don't have to do a plus or minus. And that is 13. So this one edge of the octagon is 13 units long. How, how many sides does the octagon, oh, eight, octagon have again? Eight, eight. So it'll be eight times 13, 13 which is 104 units. Very good. Huh? Yeah. Wait, only just one. So what will we see? 